Hi, this is Michael Kurtz playing my song Carved in Stone for BBC Introducing. There's a hole in the wall that you left that day I don't mind that you're gone it's the draft I hate But I'm lying to you Oh, I've forgotten my heart Your words were sharp like a shot And they told me apart Told me apart But it takes time to forget the rain And I know I'll find a way to love again Carved in stone in some land far away Stood me in the air Now nothing remains I remember the time We missed the last train Stuck in St. James's Square In the cold blue rain We looked up at the sky And the moon shone bright red Reflects the light from the sun of that night I miss. That night I miss. But it takes time to forget the rain. And I know I'll find a way to love again. Carved in stone in some land far away. Stood now nothing remains Ancient civilizations built on love like hers But then it was all over, that's the Pharaoh's curse Lay to rest in the sand under the seabed But you'll always remember and I'll never forget It takes time to forget the rain And I know I'll find a way to love again Carved in stone in some land far away Stood me in the air, now nothing remains Cause well, there's a hole in the wall that you left that day I don't mind that you're gone, no, it's the draft I hate But I'm lying to you, oh, I've forgotten my heart Your words were sharp like a shard And they tore me apart Tore me apart But it takes time to forget the rain And I know I'll find Away to love again and carved in stone in some land far away stood me in the earth. now nothing remains. Performed in the Beat Studio, the track is Carved in Stone by Michael Kurtz. Thank you very much indeed for that. No, thanks for having me. It's a track that regular listeners to the programme will know quite well. We've played it a fair few times and it gets a great response every time we do so. Where did it come from, that one? Uh, that song was actually uh, inspired by a poem, weirdly enough. Um, and uh, it's all about kind of a relationship that's been, been lost. Um, and this poem about um, sculptures which are sort of lost... Um, through time, so it's a sort of a bit of a weird origin, but but um, it kind of came out like that. Um. An interesting th thing for you to pick up on to write about is this typical about where your songs come from? Uh, I don't think there's anything typical really. It's they all sort of uh, come from from slightly different um, places, but it's quite common that something like a, a poem or or a painting or, or anything will kind of spark something that becomes something uh, completely different. Um. 
You're 17 years old now. When we first played you, you were 13, although I don't think I knew that at the time that we were playing you. How's your music changed in those three years? Uh, hopefully it's matured, I suppose. Uh, I think I've... I mean, my voice has got a lot lower. My Hopefully my guitar playing's got better, so I think my songs have, have matured along with those things. Um, and I've probably matured as a, as a lyricist, hopefully, as well. Well, your lyrics are stunning. They really are, and that is the thing. A, a, a vo your voice, sure, gets noticed, but also the, the quality of the lyrics. Have you been a wordsmith throughout your life? Uh, I don't know uh, if, if throughout my life it's kind of developed with my songwriting, I guess. Uh, I don't think I, in conversation I'm kind of very poetic or anything, um, but uh, it's something that I really enjoy uh, uh, about the songwriting process. Your voice is unique, which is a huge compliment because in this day and age, nearly all voices have been done before. Listening to it, it's very hard for me to place what your influences might have been, which is, a, again, a huge compliment. Who are they? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, Bob Dylan was always the big one. Um, my parents used to play him a lot, um, and I suppose his voice is, is unique as well. Uh, obviously very different, though. Um, and so I, I suppose with that, I was kind of encouraged just to sing uh, the way that I sort of naturally uh, sung so uh, yeah he, he's always been a, a massive influence. I've seen you perform a couple of times before you played at the, the Rough Trade gig for us a, a few weeks ago you're developing a band though aren't you at least you've got a drummer are there more people around you as well or is it just somebody doing uh, percussion now? At the moment yeah I've got a really uh, a really great drummer Aaron who, who I've played with for a long time mm. now we're, we're very comfortable performing together um, and potentially a bassist um, for for festival stages in, in the summer. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of slowly, uh, naturally building it up, I yeah. think, yeah. On the subject of festivals, the first one of the year to see you at is at the end of April. Yeah, yeah, Handmade Festival. Uh, I'm playing on the Saturday on the BBC Introducing yeah. stage, so yeah, should be... Looking forward to that. Yeah, should be we'll great. Find yeah. out more about that nearer the time as well. What's been your best gig or your worst gig? Which which gig moment stands out in your head as being something that, that is always there, nagging as your as your performer? Um, I've had lots of kind of really nice gigs. Um, uh, normally, normally things go quite well, I think, um, and kind of nice intimate intimate gigs. But I had a, a really awful gig. Well, it was okay, but a sort of disaster happened where a kick drum got was uh, microphone was dropped. Uh, there was a sort of massive uh, boom at the end end of a song. Um, a lovely, um, quiet song. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was quite a sort of a sort of sombre moment, and then and then the whole place kind of erupted. So it was a bit. Uh, I think I managed to save the set though, so it was, it was okay in the end. Yeah. When we've played your music on the radio before, we have had a number of emails from people who've been moved by the songs that we've performed, particularly the one we're going to hear in a moment. Do those? filter through to you do people ever get in touch with you and say i heard this song on the radio or I saw you performing at a gig and this song means something to me yeah yeah sometimes i've i've had kind of instagram comments or or facebook posts which are always really nice um people kind of saying oh this song's so so moving or if it kind of related to them on a personal level yeah. um and uh, with not his time in particular i got a few a few people sort of saying it really uh was Kind of powerful to them. Yeah. Um, it's quite a sort of sad song, I guess. So mm. it, it might be uh, particularly uh, powerful in that way. Um, if people want to find you online to follow you, to like you, <laughs> to, to, to watch what, which festivals you're appearing at over the summer, where's the best place to go online to do that? Uh, Facebook is is the place that I'm sort of most active uh, normally. So Michael Kurtz uh, on Facebook, you should be able to find me you um, you yeah. there. right we'll end on the song that you were talking about just a moment ago can you talk us into this just before you perform it a, a hint of, about where it came from and it is a very a terribly moving song and so many people report that to us when you perform it yes yeah, so uh this track not his time is inspired uh originally by um eric garner who was in the news a lot a few years ago um and he was filmed shouting i can't breathe um, as he was arrested um, in New York, I think. So, so I was kind of moved by that. Um, it's kind of I was, I was shocked, I guess, and um, yeah, built the song around that.
Father, the time has come to glorify the Son who glorified you. To give eternal life to all, but this eternal life must fall, we always knew. And on the cross he must die, you'll never understand quite why, so just sing along. With his final breath, he screamed, Why have you forsaken me? And he was gone. She was singing, Why? Why'd you take my boy? It was not his time, oh, it was not his crime. She was singing, Why? Why'd you take my boy? It was not his time, oh, it was not his crime. On his 18th birthday, he joined his dad, he went away to be a man. Standing on the front line, he grew up, he learned to cry like no man can. And on that same front line, he would pray a final time, for words of love. His mother left at home, she picked up the telephone, and they killed the dove. She was singing, why, why'd you take my boy? It was not his time, oh, it was not his crime. She was singing, why, why'd you take my boy? It was not his time, oh, it was not his crime. Growing up on the divide, he learned to kill, he learned to hide from the man in blue. Having fun like all kids should, getting around enough to no good, nothing else to do. And then one day he hit the ground on a street in the American South, he couldn't breathe. After you, the man in blue So stay at home and watch the news Mother's on TV She was singing, why? Why'd you take my boy? It was not his time Oh, it was not his crime She was singing, why? Why'd you take my boy? It was not his time Oh, it was not his crime Father, the time has come to glorify the Son who glorified you. To give eternal life to all, but this eternal life must fall, we always knew. And on the cross he must die, you'll never understand quite why, so just sing along. With his final breath, he screamed, Why have you forsaken me? And he was gone.